Hey folks, how you doing? Haven't done a episode in a while, but today's show of well, it's gonna be a really quick episode, just a little chit chat with you know between me and you. Just a little something I've been, you know, thinking about, just a little bit of insight on me. And you know, the topic of today is I am my father's son. Okay, what does that mean? Say, well, you know, me being my father's son, it's become really plain and clear to me that I do things differently, that I you know, I conduct myself different than most people. And for a long time, you know, people have watched me and watched me move and see how I do what I do and whatnot. And it confuses people. Well, the reality of it is, is I'm my father's son. By making a statement like that, see, my father has other children. You know, he has other biological children and he has, you know, other extended children, um, stepchildren. But I'm his only biological son and he didn't have me until he was 36 years old. So just imagine, you know, 36 year old man, you know, having his first son. Okay. Now he's already matured a lot as a man growing up before he has his first son. He's already had three daughters previously and I'm his first son. Okay. So he's raised me a bit different than any of his other children. He's interacted with me different than any of his other children. He's been, you know, he's, you know, instilled in me, you know, different, you know, aspects of, of life than his other children. And it's so it's just natural, you know, when you really, when people, I have to, I had to stop and think to myself, I just had this realization just recently. I'm a one of one when it comes to the fact of my father. I'm his, I'm my father's one of one. I'm my father's, you know, I'm my father's, you know, son. And so when I say I'm my father's son, you know, it might, you know, sound a little weird at first to people, but when you think about it, you know, just think about it in this context. There's a reason why, you know, the way I struggle bothers people because I don't complain about it. I don't complain about it. I don't talk about the things, you know, that are affecting my progress. And I don't talk about things that are hurting me and affecting me like other people do. And it causes people to wonder why is he, you know, not, you know, you know, complaining or whatever. So he, you know, is he higher? Is he think he's, you know, mightier than thou, higher than thou? Does he think he's better than anyone else? No, not at all. Not by any means or measures. But the difference is though, I'm my father's son. Okay, what does that mean? Now, you have to know my father to understand the pertinence of me making a statement like, I'm my father's son. If you know my father, you know, be like, oh, yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? My father raised me, instilled in me, embedded in me a lot of traits that are not very prevalent in today's, you know, culture and environment and so forth. You know, loyalty and, 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 you know, um, you know, paying your dues and, you know, not complaining, not, you know, not, not making excuses, you know, you know, just different things. And I'm, I'm not saying this thing, you know, to, to, to knock any and everybody. I got to say, well, you know, this is how he raised me. This is how he embedded this in me. And the way that I carry myself makes other people stand offish because they don't understand. They're like, you know, you know, what is, you know, what is this guy doing? You know, what's, what's behind this guy? What's, you know, you know, what's, is he for real? You know, is he, is he sincere? What's, what's going on with this guy? He's not like everybody else. No, I'm not like everybody else. I'm not. I'm my father's son. In order to know that, you know, you have to know more about my father. For some of you that know him, you get it. For those who don't, you know, we have an autobiography that you can purchase at foodbytheword.com anytime you want. And you can find out all about his life up until, you know, up until being 80. So, you know, there you go. You know, if you want to learn about my father and then, you know, when you learn about my father, you start to understand more. Oh, I get why this guy does what he does, why he talks like he talks like he, why he moves like he moves. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's the best way to understand, you know, when it comes to, you know, me and understanding my, you know, I'm my father's son, you know, like, you know, you're your father's son or daughter, you know, you know, you got to look at where you come from to find out why you do what you do, why you are what you are, because here's the other thing, you know, like when I look at my son, you know, my son, he's, he's his father's son, you know, he's his father's son. He has other siblings, you know, but 
he's his father's son. He's my only blood son. And so the reality of it is, is he has a lot, you know, and, and I've been in his life his whole life. You know, I've taken care of him. I've, you know, I've been his father, you know, hands on his whole life. And so he embodies a whole lot of what I instilled in him. He embodies a whole lot of, you know, of me and my character and, you know, which I get from my father and so forth and so on. So, you know, he's his father's son, you know. So when you look at him and when you deal with him, you start to understand, oh, he moves, he, he's, he moves a little different. He operates a little different. He thinks a little different. He's his father's son as well. And so when we look at, you know, when back to, you know, I'm my father's son. Now, I am literally one of one, you know, meaning now, you know, me and my sister, we, we share the same parents. But, you know, she's a female. I'm a male. She's one of one. I'm one of one. You know, that's something to think, you know, you know, we're, you know, our mother passed away, you know, 33 years ago. You know, so there'll be no more of us. There'll be there 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 were no more created, you know. There were no more, you know, in that bloodline and that lineage and you know, and then having that background, having that foundation. So when I when I when I think about it, and so I say, okay, I say, well, you know, I move like I move. You know, people understand, you know, it's nothing wrong with you. It's nothing wrong with trying to understand and figure me out. You're not broke for not figuring me out. I'm just I'm just I am, you know, Frank Montgomery's son. You know, by the nature of me being Frank Montgomery's son, I was taught a way. I was shown a way. You know, genetically, I'm shaped a way. But we are not normal fit-ins. My father is 86 years old, and for 86 years, he has never been a normal fit-in. Period. And he's been around the world, but he's never been a, you know, a fit-in. What is not a fit-in? A fit-in is a person you know, that's always seemingly, no matter how many people surround them, they are always an individual in that, you know, not a fit in. They don't fit in. You know, they, they deal with this crowd. They deal with this crowd. They go here and they go here. They talk to this person. They talk to that person. You know, they, they, they you know, they go places where, you know, they typically, you know, where, you know, the people, you know, in their, in their group or in their, in their center, in their tribe or whatever, would not usually go. They interact with people that they would not usually interact with. See, we're not a fit in. We're not a fit in. We're not supposed to be. You know, we're not supposed to be. And so as I grow and evolve, you know, I'm an evolution of being my father's son. You know, and my son is an evolution of being my son. You know, so when you deal with him, you got to understand he is not a fit in. I am not a fit in. And here's the thing. It's taken me almost 50 years of understanding. This is OK, because for most of my life, I tried to fit in. Oh, that was always a struggle because I am not cut from the same cloth of most people, which is OK, because I am my father's son. You know, that's very important. I am my father's son. You know, I was born to this particular individual who was not a fit in in the first place before I even got here. Before I even got here, before I was even a thought, you know, the, the, the set of circumstances. And, we, you know, when you read his autobiography, you can see the set of circumstances it took to get to a place to create even a me. <laughs> so, you know, if this didn't occur, if this thing at this time didn't occur, you know, I, mean, I can literally see, well, if he had decided a different thing on that day, you know, I wouldn't even be here. You know, or on that day, I wouldn't even be here. You know, usually we can't really trace a lot of things in our life to say that one particular, you know, point, that one particular moment. You know, when, you, when we know our history, we can look back and really see, oh, that one decision by that individual on that day, had that individual made a different decision that day, I wouldn't even be here. So I'm my father's son. So I'm an amalgamation of a lot of things, just like you, just like everybody else is. But I'm saying this to you know understand as I'm building and growing and developing things and creating opportunities for other people, it's imperative that people understand when, when you know when dealing with me, you feel like I can't understand this guy. You know, what is he is he really is he on the up what's 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 really going on with this guy? I really am what, what I am. I really am what you see, I really am what you hear me say. I am my father's son. You know, simply put. I am my father's son. If I invite you to something, I mean it. I'm sincere. There's nothing behind, you know, this wall is behind me, you know what I'm saying? But there's no people behind me pulling strings. I have no puppet masters. None. Zero. 
no puppet masters. You know, I have people in my life that I'm responsible for, my family, my wife, you know, my family, my children, you know, that I'm responsible for, but I have no puppet masters. So when you're dealing with me, you're dealing with me. You know, that's the whole thing. It ain't simple and it ain't easy because here's the thing. I don't have institutional money behind me. I don't have institutional backing behind me. You know, I have, you know, God almighty, you know, that's, that's it. <laughs> you know, that's it. You know, and I have, and I have me and I have being my father's son, you know, being taught and shown and, 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 and raised in a way that embodies the individual that you deal with. So just understand, you know, I am my father's son. And when I deal with you, you know, this is what it is. This is what it is in the day and time when trust is gone and out the window, when no one trusts anyone for any reason, for anything. You know, that's the that's the culture. That's the world that we're in. You know, I need people to understand when you're dealing with me, when you're dealing with James Robert Montgomery Sr. OK. You're dealing with the one of one. You're dealing with, you know, someone who is his father's son. You're dealing with someone who who, you know, honor being astute. You know, being, you know, you know, honest, you know, being reliable is very important. I struggle, you know, I, str I struggle every day. But see, that's the thing. I struggle very hard, very, very hard. But I don't you don't see it. You don't see it. Even those closest to me don't see it. They don't hear me complaining about it. They don't hear me complain that, you know, when they hear, you know, by the time they hear something that's going on with me, they're like, oh, I didn't know that was going on with you. You know, you know, it is what it is. But I'm hey. Yes, I am far from perfect. I'm struggling every single day. You know what I'm saying? There are imperfections around me constantly in me, through me. I am very not perfect. You know, whether it's, you know, you know, I have, you know, you know, NVLD, whether, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. But here's the thing. God has made me and purposed all of these things in me to, to you know, it's actually my superpower. You know, it's actually my superpower not to be beholden to anyone but him. You know, and so it, it puts me in a trajectory of, you know, I'm not I'm not a fit in. I'm not a fit in. I don't do what everybody else does. I don't go where everybody else goes. I'm not hard to find at all. I'm not hard to find at all. You know, my footprint is real. You know, Google Maps can tell you where I'm at at all times. You know, those who know me know where I'm at at all times. I am not hard to find. I am very not hard to find. I'm very not hard to nail down. But here's the thing, though. You know, here's the thing. I'm very set in the fact of accountability. You know, I hold myself very accountable. There are things I'm working on trying to fix, trying to get, you know, constantly, constantly. But my father raised me to not complain about these things, to work diligently on these things and to execute these things and to say when you can't do something, you can't do it. Period. I am my father's son. And so with that being said, I just wanted to send a message out to you today. You know, when you're dealing with me and I want people to understand and say, well, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, you know, with 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 Montgomery, you know, understand, you know, that he's his father's son. When you're dealing with my son, understand, you know, he's his father's son. You're not dealing with a fit in. You're not dealing with somebody who's ever going to fit in. We're not even built that way. It's not a conscious decision. You know, to not fit in. No, we're constructed differently. You know, our brains are operate at a different frequency. That being said, you know, it's, it creates a lot more challenges because we don't we don't have you know a party system to affiliate with. You know, over here and over there and over here and over there and over here and over there. You know, a group of folks to you know slide into and just you know coached and everything. We don't have that. We don't have that. We don't. We don't. You know, growing our families. You know, that's the closest thing we get to it. And the mo more times than not, we don't even fit in there, you know, <laughs> but praise be to God, though. You know, God has constructed us in a way that's very important, especially for a time like this. I'm foundational. You know, I'm foundational. Those who deal with me know I'm foundational, know that they can depend on. You know, I'm foundational. You know, I might not be able to just run down there and you know, give it. You know, you know, I don't have the money to do a whole lot of this and a whole lot of that, but I'm foundational. You know, if I say it, I mean it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try or die trying, you know, or I'm going to say I can't do it. I mean, I'm going to tell you straight up. I mean, you know, bottom line about it is, though, I'm going to work on it. If I cannot, if I cannot produce it or, or generate it, you know, I'm going to tell you that, too. You know, here's the thing. No's and yeses are the same to me. That's what sets me and most people apart. You know, yo's, no's and yeses are the same to me, meaning 
a no doesn't, you know, doesn't, I, I receive a no, like I receive a yes. Just because you give me a yes, doesn't mean that I feel better about it than if I'd have got a no, because that's how I'm cut, you know, and I expect that out of people. And that's what makes me different from most people. Most people do not know how to accept no. They don't. You know, I taught my son intentionally, diligently, you know, accept a no with a yes. Don't ask the question if you're not willing to accept a no. You know, just don't do it. Don't do it. Because the reality of it is, if you can't accept a no like you can accept a yes, as most people can, you know, enthusiastically accept a yes, but, you know, you know, loathe you and hate you, you know what I'm saying, for a no for the same exact thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's an unbalanced individual. But, you know, the reality of it is, is most people cannot accept no. You know, I accept my no's like I accept my yeses. You know, that being said, I don't get overly excited about the yeses. I don't. You know, it is what it is. You know, if you tell me yes, I'm going to go with that. If you tell me no, I'm going to go with that. You know, I'm my father's son. So today on Well, you know, just tap, you know, just wanted to tap in. It's been a while. You know, leave some comments. Let's have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm my father's child. Nice to meet you. You know, James Robert Montgomery Sr. Nice to meet you. Owner of Food by the Word. Nice to meet you. Owner of Montgomery 2320 Business Development Services, LLC. Nice to meet you. You know, when you deal with us, you're dealing with us. You know, and I'm my father's son. God bless you.